welcome. We're here tonight to show you something that you've never seen before. Mainly because we've never been here before. I'm Emily Taffel. And I'm Remy Connor. And we're here to talk about sex and magic. <laughs> now, magic is roughly 4,000 years old. Uh, we perform for kings and queens and bums. And we've also been known as jesters, shamans, witch doctors, and, well, bums. And burlesque dates back to the 16th century, but got really popular in the 20s and 30s as a way for women to speak their minds and satirize society. All it took was a little bit of skin to make people pay some attention. And uh, it's still popular for that same reason today. Now, there's a lot of stereotypes about what it is that we both do. You see, at the top, that's what people think that we do. And there at the bottom is what we actually do. There's a lot of illusion when it comes to things that both of us do for a living. <sighs> There have been reports about uh, artists leaving Miami because supposedly there is no culture in Miami. But just through the slide you have here, you can see that even where a community that magicians all come, all come from different backgrounds, how could that even possibly be true? And we have tons of culture here. We have Art Basel. We have guys who escape from straight jackets at Art Basel. We have galleries. We've got theaters. We've got at least 12 burlesque troops in South Florida alone. And we've got about 20 working magicians on a regular basis. Now, LA may have, you know, the magic castle. It may have cutting edge burlesque. And Vegas may have the stages, the illusions, and the elephants. And the showgirls. And New York has the school of burlesque and con men. And, well, yeah, New York has the pickpockets as well and the sideshow freaks in Coney Island, but Miami has it all. It has it all. And when we talk about illusions, we have to talk about Miami because as you see here, what you see in the movies when they talk about Miami isn't actually what Miami really truly is all about. There's a lot more to Miami than what people think. I mean, Miami is about where or who to see and where to be seen. It's all about the hottest nightclub, the place to go, and who's going to be there, which to me I find it interesting that these two subcultures have developed so richly down here in Miami. Especially since burlesque is all about what you don't see. Now in Miami, strip clubs are extremely popular. But people come back for the burlesque because they like the tease. Like I said, it's all about what you don't see is what's most important. And magic, as you know, it's all about the illusion. We all know that the woman is actually inside the box, or we all know that when the coin disappears, it's actually in the other hand. But we always want to come back to see more magic because maybe next time we'll catch the magician. And that's what we're here to talk about tonight, is the fact that for Miami, the best is yet to come. Now, looking around this room, almost all of you are involved in the arts in some sort of way. And we're here to talk tonight about the fact that we can all work together to build up this culture that people swear Miami doesn't have. Thank you. You're welcome. Burlesque itself is all about glitz and glam. It's reminiscent of a time when Miami was about less crass, more class. And that's what we want to bring back. We want to bring back the sparkle to Miami. Yeah. Right? <laughs> And here in Miami, where there are mainly two languages, English and Spanish, if you want to throw Spanglish in there, you can. But with a community like this, magic and burlesque both allow you to actually surpass that language barrier. It actually brings people closer together, because you don't have to rely on what you're listening to, but what you're seeing. And the thing is, though, we can't build the art scene alone. So we need people like all of you in this room here tonight to help us. We ourselves have been combining burlesque and magic for a couple of years now, creating a variety show that brings something new to the city, and we're hoping to combine with all of you. And I'll tell you, working with burlesque dancers is the greatest and hardest show of my life. It is great because no matter what I do, there's going to be a naked woman on stage afterward. And it's also the hardest show that I do because I no matter what, no matter what I do, there's going to be a naked woman on stage afterward. And for me, working with magicians has been quite an adventure. I mean, I never know if I'm going to be sawed in half, if I'm going to be made to disappear off the stage altogether, or covered in balloons to have darts thrown at you. You just never know. And we like to bring these kinds of arts to Miami because it's the same thing with the city. You just never know. And to end it, we'd like to show you a little bit of what, well, I do. I don't think she's allowed to do it. <laughs> but the truth is that in the end, we're actually all performers. We stand on the stage for you all waiting for the audience to tear us apart if things go poorly. We bask in the applause when things go well. And it takes a lot of strength, a lot of perseverance, a lot of passion and seduction. And we're here to help create a storm for Miami, a flurry of the arts that can help us create something new and different, something you may say astonishing or perhaps even magical. And that's what we hope to bring here, because we love Miami, and we want to see the arts thrive here. So thank you all very much, and have a great night.